Hey everybody, I'm Dr. Plasma, and I like aesthetics. Today, we're going to do another non-square shape. I'm going to do a bigger circle, and this one is seven across. I'm a really big fan of this one. If you're going to do a circular elevator, I kind of recommend this one. It's my favorite. If you need something smaller, I did a five across circle, and I'll leave the link available for you in the thumbnail and in the description. So subscribe if you haven't, share with your friends, and let's get started. So let's dissect a seven across circular elevator. So if you look here, you'll see that we start with a typical piston elevator. What we're going to do is we're going to put this backpack-like structure on it. So we put these four blocks so that they touch right here, and so we're going to put two back, and one's going to come out here, and the other one's going to come out here. You're just going to put a piston with an observer underneath on each of those. Now, if you've watched some of my other videos, you might be familiar with these. We're going to have a pair of wings that are next to each other, and the ones you can put six on, and by being close together, you can only put five on them because you can't have one that touches both of these, and that's going to give us the tin we need in order to do it. So the hard part is the slime layer, and so the slime layer is going to be a tight fit. The easiest thing to remember is, number one, remember that you need 12 blocks for each one total, so if you have three across, you're going to need, with three blocks on top, you're going to need nine blocks total. And so, same for if you have four, you're going to need eight. And if you have five, you're going to need seven. And so, we have a cube on the back like this. And it's actually important that you do the colors in this order. You can't flop the colors. And the reason is because this row right here is going to sit on top of this block. And so, they can't be slime or it'll stick. And so, you need to make sure they're honey blocks. So, we're going to have these honey blocks with some slime in the middle. It's going to be a cube. We're going to have three rows of four matching that, and they're going to be almost identical. We're just going to have them connect to a different block. It's going to be this piston, this piston, and this piston. And we're going to have another nine for three right here next to them. And then we're going to do something similar here. I kind of call these the my little Tetris pieces, or a Tetris pair. And so what we're going to do is we're going to squeeze these in. So this one is going to have to come over before going up. And we're going to have four on this and four on this. So they need to have eight each. I'll give you one good look at it so that you can pause it if necessary to take a look at it. And so you can see we're going to have five on the other side that's in the same fashion. All right, so if that's simple enough to understand, let's go ahead and try and build one. If you didn't notice, I've got what you're going to need in my hot bar. This is going to be the slime blocks for the top and this will be the rest. But we are going to go ahead and start building. So, we're going to start with our typical elevator, like so. Boom, boom. Remember, whichever way you do it, you always need to have your pistons facing the opposite way from their observers. You're going to have problems if you don't. Um, if you watched my video on things that are wrong with observers, you know that this is a very bad thing. You don't want to do that. So, um, that being said, let's put this on. We're going to put this here and this here. We're going to put this here. I should have put this here. That would have been even easier. Okay, so there you go. And now we're going to put our wings on. And you'll find that they are really close together. Um, when I have them set up for you to look at, they're much easier to look at. And so it's a little bit confusing if you don't know where you're putting them. My advice, just go ahead and put all ten pistons on. And if you put one in the wrong place, you'll know. You know you don't want to have those touching both. So you'll know where you're supposed to be putting things. So on the back, we're going to have these for the slime cube, is what I call it. My cube. I like cubes. So this is going to go like this. And that should give you a hint as to which colors are going to go where. So you're obviously going to want to have colors like so. And so what we're going to do, I'm going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. And so we'll connect those up. And that's six blocks. And remember, for four we need to have eight. And so we're going to put one here and here on the honey. We're going to put one here and here, seven and eight on that slime. We're going to put two right here to make eight for that slime. All right. So now we do the parts that are very 
difficult to remember, but you know you put one here. And what we're trying to do is we're trying to make it circular. Up, oh, I'm off by one. And so what we're going to do is we're going to come in by one, like this, and then we're going to go in like that. And there's your five. And that's actually six, seven. You need seven for five, so that's perfect. You don't need to put anything on there. In fact, it won't work if you do. And so we know we need to have blocks like this, but how do we want to do that? So what you want to do is connect it from this one. That's going to need nine, which is not going to work because you have this as a problem. So what you want to do is you want to put a block here, and then you have the ability to say this is four, five, six, and we can go seven, eight, and we can call it good. And then what we'll do is we'll come over here. Because if you needed nine, it wouldn't work, which is why we have to do it this way. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, six, seven. And we're touching four of them, so we need eight. So we can put a block anywhere we want. We can put it right here, eight. So that's eight. And so that'll be all you have to do. And so now let's go ahead and we're going to add the bottom. So there, I put in my hotbar what you're going to need for the bottom. So what we're going to need to do... Oh, I totally forgot. You know what? I totally forgot to put these on. So these go underneath, you might remember. And so what we would do is we'd actually have these right here, which is fine. Just remember when you're building it, these go underneath it. Those are very important. Um, a number of ways you could put them on that would actually be easier to do. So that one can go on like that. Ah, there we go. And then this one, I'm going to put on like this. And there we go. So that should be good. So yeah, so those four go on. So anyway, sidetrack. What we're going to do is we're going to put this right here. Um, I'm going to leave that there. And this is the simplest way to reach up and say hello to those without causing any problems. This is how I would do it. So there you go. And so what you want to do now is you want to put observers to just fire those really quickly. And my advice is to put some redstone down first for your observers, because then you don't have to worry about them accidentally triggering it and ending up in a weird state. And so these observers are going to be looking this way. And if we were triggering it, we would be triggering it like so. So as you can see, We've already kind of offset some of them, and they're already not very happy with us. Um, so let's let me like fix this. I think I might have accidentally broken it. There you go. And so now you can see it goes up, it goes down, and so that's going to be how it operates. And so let's go ahead and put. I'm going to put them on like this. It's fine in this case. What you don't want to do is you don't want to put these on and be playing with this and be setting it off after you put the top on because what will happen is one will move up and it will stick and you're, it's not going to be happy with you. You're going to have to take your top off and fix it, which is not going to be fun. So what we're going to do is we're just going to connect them together like this. And that is almost all there is to it. You need to have blocks underneath these. And we're going to run some redstone dust through here. And that's going to be our second tier that need to be primed. And then finally, right here. And so the number of ticks you need to put on them for this one is seven. So we can do it like that. And then we'll do nothing on these. And because... How did we leave that? There we go. If you were recall. If you feel like you're not fast enough or you're worried about having to fix things, um, let's say this is off. So what you can do, actually, is you can actually put a button on and pull them down like that. Just want that to be a reminder because that's a very useful thing to do when you're trying to repair it. So what we're going to do, so the key to know is that it's three tick, additional ticks for each tier. Three additional ticks. And so in this case, because these take one tick, we've got to do four here and seven here. Does that make sense? Zero, three, six. One, plus one is one, four, seven. And so that's why we have to do these, the number of ticks we do. And so that should be it. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and go up here. 
remember, if you you've got to touch all ten of them in order for them to stop correctly. So we're gonna to need to put obsidian blocks up here where we want to build the top, and we will put them here. If we did that correctly, that'll stop it without any problems. Wherever they overlap is the best place to put it. And look at that. It works just like we hoped it would. So now let's go put a top on and we'll build the top. And there we go. This is going to be a very easy top to do. So the only places you actually need to do it are here, here, and here. So you can actually touch both of these with that block and both of these with that block. So this actually makes it really easy. And you can do the same thing on the other side. So you really only need six. So I'm actually going to swap this out for another block just so you can tell blocks apart. Just for your convenience. Obviously you would use whatever looks good in your in your uh, in your shaft elevator shaft. So if I come over here to the one I built over here, you'll notice that in my elevator shaft I concealed them by trying to pick something that looks a little bit similar. And so I use these blocks, but um, you can do whatever you want, whatever looks good with your terracotta or obsidian if you want to stick to a traditional elevator shaft. Or people use furnaces still in Java. So what we're going to do is we are going to put our piston against each of them like so and one on the other side like that we're going to put them up over here and we're going to put one right here so we only need the six and so what we're going to do is we're going to put forgot how much I dislike dirt but um, we'll roll with it you're here and here. So this goes here, this goes here, and this goes here. And now we, all you have to do now is clear, is um, connect it up. So what we're going to do is just put a repeater on each one. Like this right here. Do 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 and do 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 do. Now for wiring, you don't really have to do much. Remember, you want to keep this one block gap with the closest block here. So if you were to put blocks here, you're gonna have a bad day. Don't do that. One, if you had it wrapped in an elevator shaft, you would know that already. You'd be able to go all the way up against the elevator shaft. So what we're going to do is we're going to run it like this, we're going to run it like this. And in the interest of being able to reach it, make sure we can reach all the way. We're going to plop one here and plop one here. You just don't want to go over 15. And then finally, I'm going to do a block that says hello here, like you do in an elevator shaft. Sometimes I do this in my videos. Um, so this is going to push a block into it. And this is one way to conceal it. You could do this with a sea lantern, which is what I do most often. But all you've got to do is run your dust down to this. That's really all you got to do. And so that should do it. Time for the moment of truth. You ready? It works. So you would have your border of whatever you wanted around the top here of terracotta. And this would be completely fine. And you would be able to put not just terracotta, but any block you wanted up here at the top. And does it stop it when it gets to the top? Yes, it does. I hope I made a terrible mistake. And what mistake was that? That mistake was not having a block here to have eight blocks. And so this is a good exercise in when you make mistakes, debugging. And so what happened is obviously this couldn't stop this. And so what I should have done was had one, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight. And then that would have stopped. And so let's actually prove that. I left a block off, I believe. Let's actually prove that. I don't want to leave you trusting me that that works. And what we're going to do is we're going to take another block that's prettier. And we're going to put blocks around the top of it. And so we're going to want to go like this. Remember, we had three and then one block here. And three and one block here. And then we had three like this. And so there's that. We have those three and then this block. It takes practice to just use the negative space there, but hopefully you can see what I'm talking about. And so there's that circle. And so we can actually, now you'll be able to see it better if I put this a little bit thicker around the sides. So now we've got our way to stop. So let's see, let's prove that that works. And that should do it. I believe it'll do it. And have a good rest of your day. Subscribe if you haven't. Hopefully this has been helpful. I'd really love to see other people use some of these builds. I'm going to be doing more shapes and other cool things with elevators coming soon. And I'm going to be teaching a series on redstone from the basics from the ground up pretty soon. So I'm excited for that. Have a good rest of your day. Bye.